what is going on YouTube? So I know I didn't have to pull the hood off. But guys, I fucking love that damn hood hinge, bro. That shit is so sick. Huge, huge shout out to Jack Spaniel Racing for that set of hinges. They have them for EKs as well as EGs. I'm not exactly sure if they have anything for an Accords just yet, but uh, maybe he'll put those in production and I will be getting a set of them as well if he does. But yeah, use code DF Squad. Link is always in the description below. Today's video, guys, however, it's coming from my guys, Jordan Distributors, also a long time sponsor of the channel. We got a package here. Let's get inside and see what we got. So guys, this is a pair of ground straps that upgrades your stock grounds in your car. Now, honestly guys, this is something that you definitely probably should do if you do an engine swap that is pertaining to an engine that is definitely not meant for your car. Especially like this little Honda Civic, man. It's literally, look at this shit. Look at the fucking engine, guys. The engine is bigger than the car. Like, look at it. The fucking engine is, it sticks up so fucking far. Hot rod status, guys, hot rod status. So, when you're doing modified stuff to a Honda Civic, the stock wiring just really doesn't cut it like it should. And you can run into all type of issues because of it. Luckily, I haven't really had any issues, but I'm probably, I, I'm gonna honestly say I'm probably losing a horse or two just from the grounding issues that I have. And I also have weird stuff that happens sometimes, like when you're at a stoplight and I have my turn signal on, like my car, every time the lights blink, my car literally like dies a little bit as if it's an amp and a sub like taking power away from the alternator. And I know it shouldn't be doing it because this is an Accord alternator, so it's not a D-series alternator, and the car is completely stock. Like, it has nothing aftermarket radio-wise other than a JDI ghost box. So, when I got to working on the EK, and I wanted to make it look a lot nicer and stuff, I thought about those guys, and I knew they had a nice ground strap kit that um, would complement that D-series engine really well and make the engine bay look that much better. And then I also thought about the issues that I've been having with the h b as far as the uh, lights and stuff and, and how it, it does that thing. It, it stops lights at nighttime like it wants to cut off. So <clears throat> what we're going to do today is replace our grounds. I really wanted to get this done before we dynoed it just to see if that uh, kept the power more consistent. But we couldn't. But I do think we're going to tell a difference at nighttime and... Let's be honest, guys. I know y'all want to see me beat the shit out of this car. I haven't driven it at all since we... Well, I drove it to work, but I haven't driven it on video, really, since we uh, tuned it. So I know y'all want to see it. It shoots hella flames at nighttime, guys. Hella flames. Like, you know my exhaust on this is crooked, right? So it's coming, pointing kind of sideways like this. I shit you not, boys. Looking through this mirror driving at night, I could see flames shooting up like past my back bumper. Stupid crazy. So <clears throat> I really, I'm gonna try to catch that eventually on video guys. I might do it um, maybe the next time we take it out to Mexico, I can get it. I do have a mount back there for a GoPro now, so we can try to do it that way as well. But guys, this thing is shooting good ass flames, like no lie. And I know y'all wanna see that, but Today, we're gonna get these ground straps thrown on and we're gonna dry this thing around a little bit, beat on it, hopefully it doesn't break and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So our first ground is the easiest and it's right here on top. So I'm gonna take these two 10 mil bolts out. And 
and before anybody trips, you can see that I'm grounding this on the actual stud itself of the motor, not this little thing right here, because if you notice, the head on the H motors does not make direct contact with the surface. It's got that rubber gasket in between. Now it will ground here, and I do believe they ground it from stock right here, but the best way is to ground it on the actual stud that holds the head, uh, damn, I keep saying head, that holds the valve cover onto the engine because this thing goes straight into the block, into the head, and that'll create a better ground point. So we're just gonna remove this old wire. And this was a great gauge, but you can see that I did put a little electrical tape on that end just to make sure it didn't have any issues. So let's get a new ground and install it. Also guys, I'm checking, making sure that this uh, spot that I ground down for the ground wire hasn't rusted or lost its uh, smoothness yet. Everything looks good. So I'm gonna attach this end onto the valve cover. Good. And then this end right here will just go right to the chassis. And and see, I mean you're seeing how simple this is guys. It's not it's not crazy hard. This is just something you could do in about 10-15 minutes. And um So that one is done boys, and man it looks good. So the second one we're gonna be changing out is this one right here. It goes from the frame rail to the top of the transmission. There's a special bracket dedicated for grounding this spot. And b believe me guys, this and the one that be on your thermostat are like the two biggest problems. Like when you have issues with the, the fuel pump not priming, crazy stuff going on with your cluster. A lot of times, guys, it's gonna be either this little baby here or the one that'll ground you onto your thermostat housing. So keep that in mind if you do have issues. Check these two first and foremost. I just had an issue with the EK where it was the ground on the thermostat. Had all kind of problems and simply redoing that fixed everything. Now you guys aren't gonna be able to see a lot of what's going on down here simply because of how tight it is, but matter of fact, let me see if I can get this top one. So this one bolt and that side one will be by hand. It's a little tight in there. See, that's just your typical stock unit there. For some reason, stock always had these wires exposed like that on the ends. Um, little sketch, but it's how they come from Honda, so it is what it is. But you can see some of those are already broken. So let's get this replaced. New unit going in. Everything is done. Literally took five, 10 minutes at the most just because I was filming things, guys. So simple, but it's such a nice touch for your engine bay to add that little extra crisp. And I do think it's gonna help with our ground issues. Cause they're, they're like I said, guys, they're so minor that it doesn't really affect the car, but it's one of those things where you kind of notice it and it kind of like fucks with you a little bit. But um, yeah, so we got that done. Now it's time to take this thing out and drive it. Again, guys, I want to give a big shout out to Jordan Distributors for the hookup. Also, huge thank you to my tuner, J Mills. James is the GOAT for tuning my shit. He's tuned everything I have, trap, this, turbo, 
like B16, L, I, I, so many I can't even name them. All my brother cars, like he always takes care of us. So huge shout out to him as well. Um, huge shout out to Jack Spaniel for the hood hinges. I think this car don't make a lot. 
So yeah, that's pretty much it boys, certified ripper, DK out here. Well with that being said guys, I'm going to wrap this video up, it is starting to rain. I'm going to try to get the EK back in the shop. I will catch y'all next time, as always remember like, share, subscribe, and respect all bills. Peace out.